Unsere Fallschirmspringer werden für einen schnellen und sicheren Zugriff ausgebildet. All right, y'all. Welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're checking out the German GSG-9. Now, I have to say, this has been a big recommendation for a while now, and that's totally understandable because this is a pretty prominent police force, especially in Germany. Now, I haven't been able to find many modern videos about the GSG-9, and certainly not many that were, you know, pretty short, like short enough to actually do a reaction to. Now, most of these don't have captions or English subtitles, uh, so this one doesn't have any captions at all. However, we actually had the, uh, the Discord moderator, Soap, translate this for me. So I do appreciate it. Thanks for that, Soap. So yeah, we'll be checking out the German GSG-9. I think this is more of like a, kind of like a recruitment video. So you can see it's only about four minutes long. Now, I probably could have done this with the other international uh, recruitment advert videos that I do. However, it's a little bit long, so I wanted to do its own focus. And again, with the translation, it's going to take a little bit longer just to be able to ascertain exactly what's going on. But it looks really solid. The quality looks really good. And again, it's kind of hard to find quality stuff like this about the GSG-9. That's pretty pretty modern, pretty recent. So I'm very excited to check this one out. I haven't seen it at all. So uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen it at all either, hopefully you'll enjoy it with me. So let's check it out. It's how it starts, huh? The interest. <laughs> it's true. Von klein auf ist Vertrauen unser höchstes Gut. Cool toys. <laughs> Doch ohne Sicherheit ist Vertrauen nicht möglich. All right. Again, it's very cinematic, so very very cool stuff. <laughs> I love their uh, their combat suits. Um Sicherheit zu gewährleisten, braucht es Mut. Mut zu unbändiger Integrität. Mut zu absoluter Hingabe. Okay. Mut zur Aufopferung. Wir haben diesen Mut. All right, so we can see it's going to get pretty hectic, so we'll stop it right there. Now, as far as what the, the translation is saying, so if you guys don't speak German, it's basically talking about trust and how trust is something that, you know, you, you sort of see early on, but you can't really have the, the trust without having security. And that I can really appreciate that from like a military perspective is you like to be able to trust, you know, and be comfortable where you are. However, you do need that security just to lock everything down. Everybody can get comfortable whenever you have that security, but if you don't have any sort of security, people are going to be on edge and, and, and kind of, you know, antsy a lot of the time. Let's check out the gear. Of course, you guys already know I need to check out the gear. I'm not going to go too in-depth. So we have some dudes fast roping. Looks like we got some uh, MP5s here with EOTex. Really cool stuff. Again, this is a pretty modern video, so it's really nice to check out up-to-date stuff and up-to-date tactics and equipment. This dude looks pretty mean, though, but I like their... Uh, I like their gear. I like the, the combat suit specifically, but you can see they're about to do a maritime operation, which is definitely a, a, a hard beast to, to handle. So, yeah, we'll see how they do this. They're faster opening in, so let's check it out. Okay, so we got some of the planning aspect going in. Oh, man. <laughs> they still got the cool face shields, though. Okay, we got the MP5s and the box. Wir sind die Spezialeinheit GSG 9 der Bundespolizei. Oh snap! Cool logo. Alright, I guess we're seeing. Unsere Ausrüstung und Technik unterstützen unsere Fähigkeiten und unsere Strategie. Okay, different missions now. Wir vollbringen Leistung. Täglich trainieren wir unseren Körper und Geist. Willensstärke und Konditionen gehören zu unseren wichtigsten Eigenschaften. Okay, so it starts to talk about the, the modern technology that they have. And of course, you need modern technology, especially with, you know, today's environment. You need to give yourself the edge because, you know, these guys are you know, very well trained and they're very disciplined. And of course, it talks about their willpower and stamina needed to be in a position like this. But if you don't have the technology to, to match, it could put you at a disadvantage sometimes. So again, they're talking about conditioning their bodies, conditioning their minds. And with a, a job like this, it's going to be extremely strenuous physically and mentally. So let's check out here. We have some of the gear. Again, we get 
you know, some shots at some of the technology, some of the weaponry they have. So some really cool stuff there. We got some dew with this flashlight. And then this is where it's talking about, you know, conditioning the body. So some martial arts. It looks pretty rough. And of course, they need to be pretty mentally tough and, and get ready for situations like that. So it makes sense. And then we also got the obstacle courses. Those are cool. They, I mean, they can condition you in a different way just so you can get the coordination. It's not necessarily about physical fitness because honestly, a lot of obstacle courses aren't really too physically demanding. Schaffen. All right. Durch den Transport in der Luft sind wir in der Lage, jeden Einsatzort schnell und zielsicher zu erreichen. Awesome. Weltweit. Unsere Fallschirmspringer werden für einen schnellen und sicheren Zugriff ausgebildet. Yeah. Uh, it's all fun and games until the door opens up and a dog comes in. Some good capabilities there, though. Now we just gotta get those cool shots in. There you go. Jeder Pulsschlag will kontrolliert werden. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Unsere Scharfschützen trainieren in Gebäuden und im Gelände, damit wir in Extremsituationen handlungsbereit Hell yeah. und konzentriert bleiben. That was freaking sick. Okay, again. Uh, if you guys already know, I'm a huge fan of like ghillie suits and just camouflage like that. And, you know, it can be kind of gimmicky for videos like this, but I have absolutely 100% confidence that these guys are absolute professionals in what they're doing. To be a sniper in the GSG-9 probably takes a whole lot of skill. We can see they're, you know, stalking and doing camouflage like that, but I'm sure they, they have a big speciality in urban warfare as well, and especially urban sniping, which is a completely different beast. And that's kind of what they're saying here. So again, it's talking about their capabilities, their air capabilities, as well as their snipers and, and how the snipers are disciplined as far as like controlling themselves. And yeah, sniping, again, people like to think sniping is just running around with a sniper rifle and a ghillie suit, just trying to take out targets of opportunity. But 95% of the time, it's pretty mundane and it takes a whole lot of like mental fortitude just to, to be in a position like that. So yeah, we're seeing a lot of their capabilities now. Okay, some divers. I didn't know they had divers. Wir sind Taucher. Wasser ist unser Element. Yep. So dringen wir lautlos vor und gelangen auch an entlegene Orte. So cool. Unsere maritime Einheit ist für jeden Einsatz im Inland und auf hoher See vorbereitet. Dang, that's rough water. Und Zuverlässigkeit perfektionieren wir unsere Vorgehensweisen. So treten wir der Kriminalität mit Härte und Entschlossenheit entgegen. There you go. Als Hell yeah, Einheit dude. Stehen wir täglich füreinander ein, Seite an Seite. This video is so sick. Unser oberstes Ziel ist es, unseren Mitmenschen zu helfen und Menschenleben zu retten. Dafür gehen wir an unser Limit. Oh, man. Einen Schritt voraus zu sein. Nice helicopters too. That's a pretty big small boat, to be fair. Hell yeah. Wir sind Sicherheit. Wir sind die Bundespolizei. All right. Okay, you guys already know we're gonna have to check out those shots again at the end. But yeah, again, I was talking about the the capability. So it was, it was talking about the divers and how they're moving quietly. Of course, we had the obligatory shot of the divers coming up out of the water. You have to have that in videos like this. And then I was talking about the maritime operations, how they you know train over and over again just to make sure they get it right. And again, that that makes them a little bit more flexible in the in the different environments they can actually operate in. So it's cool to see that. So again, maritime operations are very hard beast to, to work out. But if you have that sea, air, and land capability, then it makes sure you're that, that much more effective and flexible. And then it goes to talk about how they, you know, they push themselves out of their comfort zone just so they can ensure the sanctity of the of the people, which is kind of like their their priority, of course. So it kind of goes back to security. So it goes full circle. So if this was a recruitment video, again, I'm not really sure what this video is is meant to be, but I mean, it's a pretty good recruitment video in my opinion. 
Uh, again, they did have four minutes to work with everything, but to, again, to go full circle and sort of wrap around the, their original idea of, of them jumping out of their comfort zone and, and being courageous just so, just so they can ensure that security, it's kind of cool how they do that. And of course, they did, they did so with some really, really cool shots. So we have the divers. Oh, the, that kit is so freaking cool. So we got the spray painted G36s. We got the nice camouflage. I think it's just like normal flectarn there. Um, and then, yeah, this dude has a nice Trigicon optic, some cool flashlights. And then with these maritime operations, the water just looks brutal. It's not very conducive for this sort of stuff. But at least when they're going to do the real stuff, it's going to be much easier, especially if the, the seas are calmer. But yeah, we have that air capability. We have these awesome dudes on their all-terrain vehicles. We have this crazy... This looks like it's out of RoboCop or something. So it's like a, a shoddy attached to a robot. Really nice dealy setup. So this dude back here looks pretty terrifying. I kind of like how he has that that cut, you know, canvas tarp or whatever he's got on his face. But yeah, they're also rocking the multicam too. So you guys already know I'm a huge fan of that. Very, very cool video. Again, thank you, Soap, for providing the translation so it could provide us with a little bit more of context for this. But I mean, again, I think without any sort of words, these guys speak for themselves. Everybody knows the GSG-9 and what they do and how effective they are. Again, these sort of units are built out of necessity, which kind of sucks. You have bad people doing bad things. So you have these badasses that need to come up, jump out of their comfort zone just to, again, maintain, maintain the sanctity of that security. Uh, you know, inside their country. So yeah, I appreciate these guys doing what they're doing. If you guys know any GSG-9 operators or if you guys are in the GSG-9 uh, yourself, let me know if you have any experiences that you'd like to share as far as getting into it. Uh, of course, we're not gonna be able to find many cool videos about, uh, you know, why people join or what it's like to go through that selection process. But it'd be cool to get some firsthand knowledge about that. So if you guys have any of that, throw it down in the comment section. Feel free to share it with us if you guys want. We do appreciate it. I do appreciate everybody sharing their opinions and whatnot in the comment section. It allows us to grow as a community just so we can see everybody's opinion and what everybody thinks of the video. And of course, you guys keep sending some awesome recommendations. So thank you for that. I got this one from Soap, who also provided the translation. So I appreciate that. So thank you guys for doing what you're doing. Now, before you guys go, again, 94% of y'all aren't subscribed. Again, I know my videos do bounce around a lot. You guys don't care about some of the videos I, I post, and that's totally fine because the topics change. But again, if you guys have watched at least you know two videos, maybe three videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it. Again, it allows us to grow our community and learn a little bit more about what y'all are interested in. So please feel free to do that. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to, to hit that thumbs up. You can always comment. Let me know what you think regardless. But I do appreciate you guys watching. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.